హలో ఎవరి వన్ ఐఎమ్ బాలాజీ రావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రీ ఆఫ్ క్లాస్ టెన్త్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది స్టూడెంట్స్ దే ఫీల్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ ఈజ్ డిఫికల్ట్ బట్ యాక్చువల్లీ దిస్ చాప్టర్ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఈజీ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ గుడ్ ఇన్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ సో ట్రై టు అండర్స్టాండ్ theory part related to first exercise of trigonometry once you understand that i can guarantee that this complete chapter is going to be very easy first thing what we need to learn in trigonometry in this class 10th trigonometry chapter whatever the triangles we use they all are right angle triangle in this you will frequently use three words hypotenuse what is hypotenuse what is opposite side what is adjacent side so it is important to know that which side is hypotenuse which side is opposite side to the given angle which side is adjacent side of a given angle here i consider a right angle triangle abc which is right angled at b that means which is 90 degrees is there at b now which side is known as hypotenuse this is the easiest thing to identify in right angle triangle the side which is opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse you see this is the side this side is opposite to 90 degrees correct so the side which is opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse so what is hypotenuse here this ac is there na this ac is hypotenuse so what is hypotenuse the side which is opposite to 90 degrees here ac is hypotenuse now which side is opposite side which side is adjacent side here doubt comes to many students here whenever we say opposite side you need to ask a question opposite side of which angle to identify opposite side opposite side of which angle you observe here if i suppose this angle is angle a please observe this one this is angle a the side opposite to this angle a that means this side bc this side is known as opposite side of angle a i hope you are understanding if i consider this angle a bc is opposite side of angle a if i consider this angle see you, you please observe here this angle c if i consider this angle what is opposite side of angle c opposite side of angle c is ab here i am considering only this angle please observe here i am considering angle a what is opposite side of angle a the side exactly opposite to angle a is called opposite side it's very simple right what is opposite side the side opposite to which angle you consider what is this bc opposite side to angle a now two things are over you know what is hypotenuse what is opposite side obviously remaining one is the adjacent side here this ab is there na what is this adjacent side to angle a right so what is this ab ab is adjacent side so finally you know what is hypotenuse what is opposite side what is adjacent side now i'll consider one more triangle in that you need to identify what is hypotenuse what is opposite side to given angle what is adjacent side to given angle you observe here i considered a right angle triangle which is right angle at a now in this triangle i'll consider the angle b okay in this triangle what is hypotenuse the side which is opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse you see here this is the side opposite to this 90 degrees right so what is this bc bc is hypotenuse bc is hypotenuse as i considered here angle b which side is opposite side of angle b see this ac is there na ac is opposite to angle b so the side ac is opposite side to angle b now as two sides we already completed what is hypotenuse what is opposite side remaining one is adjacent side adjacent side to angle b this is the third side remaining what is this this is adjacent side of angle b it is important to know which side is hypotenuse which side is opposite side to given angle which side is adjacent side to given angle to understand further the definitions of trigonometric ratios now we will learn the definitions of six trigonometric ratios 
trigonometric ratios we have total 6 trigonometric ratios you observe here the 6 trigonometric ratios are defined as follows in a right angle triangle just now we learned which side is known as hypotenuse which side is known as opposite side which side is known as adjacent side we'll start with one by one you observe here first trigonometric function is sin of a sin of a simply we write this one like this sin a you see we consider first three letters of this sin of a so from now onwards sin a is nothing but sin of angle a and the sin a is defined as opposite side to angle a divided by hypotenuse this is a ratio of sides ratio of sides that's why this is a trigonometric ratio what is sin a opposite side to angle a divided by hypotenuse same thing can be sin b also what is sin b opposite side to angle b divided by hypotenuse those things we will see later in this class what you need to memorize in this you need to memorize this because throughout this chapter we are going to use this trigonometric ratios what are the things you need to memorize sin a if someone ask define sin a you need to say that sin a is opposite side divided by hypotenuse second trigonometric function is cosine of a simply we say cos a you see here first three letters of cosine they taken right cos a how this trigonometric ratio is defined it is defined as adjacent side to a divided by hypotenuse this is the definition why cos a is adjacent side by hypotenuse means no answer for that it is the definition they defined this ratio they defined as cosine of a simply we call cos a right so you need to memorize that cos a is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse now third trigonometric function is tangent of a simply we call it as tan a see they taken first three letters of tangent tan a is defined as opposite side to a divided by adjacent side these are the first three trigonometric functions if you are thorough in first three trigonometric functions next three are very easy they are the reciprocals of first three trigonometric functions that you will come to know soon what point i am trying to say here it is important you need to memorize these ratios if someone ask what is tan a you need to say that tan a is opposite side divided by adjacent side we learn first three trigonometric functions now we'll move to fourth trigonometric function that is cosecant of a simply we call it as cosecant a this cosecant a is defined as reciprocal of sin a you see here sin a is what opposite side by hypotenuse na you come to this one this is hypotenuse by opposite side reciprocal right so cosecant a is defined as hypotenuse divided by opposite side next trigonometric function is secant of a secant of a simply we call it as secant a sec a right secant a is defined as hypotenuse divided by adjacent side the secant a is reciprocal of cos a you observe these two this is adjacent by hypotenuse this is hypotenuse by adjacent side so secant a is a reciprocal of cos a right so if you know if you memorize this cos a secant a you can write very easily it's a reciprocal i hope you are understanding cotangent of a simply we call it as cot a you see they taken first three letters cot a cot a is defined as adjacent side to a divided by opposite side here you observe tan a cot a they are reciprocal see tan a is what opposite side by adjacent side what is cot a adjacent side by opposite side these are the six trigonometric ratios the trigonometric ratios they define like this 
it is important you need to memorize all these trigonometric ratios if you are thorough in these trigonometric ratios we are going to use these formulas very frequently throughout this chap next important point that you need to know is pythagoras theorem statement what is the statement of pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle square of hypotenuse you know what is hypotenuse square of hypotenuse is sum that means summation sum of squares of other two sides in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides this statement also we use very frequently in this chapter now i'll explain this with an uh, right angle triangle you see here i considered a right angle triangle this is 90 degrees na opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse correct this is hypotenuse square of hypotenuse look here ac square ac is what ac is hypotenuse square of hypotenuse that means ac square equal to sum summation sum of squares of other two sides see what are other two sides one is ab another one is bc so ac square is ab square plus bc square directly not exactly like this every time ac is not hypotenuse in this example ac square equal to ab square plus bc square right so this is the one thing we use very frequently in trigonometry pythagoras theorem statement now we'll start first example related to this trigonometry you see this is example 1 what is this example they given one trigonometric ratio tan a then what they are asking find other trigonometric ratios of angle a see we know total we have six trigonometric ratios in that one trigonometric ratio is given other trigonometric ratios means another five trigonometric ratios are there sin a cos a cosecant a secant a cot a all those things we need to find first i taken given trigonometric ratio they given tan a as 4 by 3 just now we learned the definitions of trigonometric ratio na what is tan a tan a is defined as opposite side divided by adjacent side so here to find other trigonometric ratios i'll consider one right angle triangle see i considered one right angle triangle this triangle is right angle at b see this is angle a here this is angle a what is tan a as per trigonometric ratios definition opposite side divided by adjacent side what is opposite side of a see this is they given tan a na what is opposite side of a bc bc they given it as 4 so you write bc as 4 what is this this is adjacent side tan a is defined as opposite side by adjacent side 3 is adjacent side okay now in this right angle triangle two sides we already know this is 4 this is 3 and we need to find this side and it is a right angle triangle here pythagoras theorem plays important role by using pythagoras theorem i can find the third side of this triangle i know that ac square equal to ab square plus bc square here ac is hypotenuse now uh, i need to find ac what i'll do this ab value bc value i'll substitute in this statement what is ab ab is 3 ab square is what ab square is 3 square 3 square is what 3 square is 9 next bc bc is 4 bc square means 4 square 4 square is what 16 ac square equal to 9 plus 16 what is ac square ac square equal to 9 plus 16 is 25 what is ac ac is plus or minus 5 but length never be negative na so ac is 5 so i got this other side of the triangle now you observe in this right angle triangle i know all three sides If I know all three sides of a right angle triangle then I can write easily all other trigonometric ratios see if I want to write sin a what is the first trigonometric function sin a is opposite side divided by hypotenuse what is opposite side 
hypotenuse is what hypotenuse is 5 so what is sin a opposite side by hypotenuse so sin a is 4 divided by 5 next trigonometric ratio is cos a we know that cos a is adjacent side by hypotenuse so this is 3 divided by 5 tan a already given in the question right so no need to write that next one is cosecant a cosecant a is a reciprocal of sin a directly you can write 5 by 4 or from the formula also you can write we know that cosecant a is hypotenuse divided by opposite side 5 by 4 i hope you are understanding now secant a we know that secant a is a reciprocal of cos a so secant a can be written as 5 by 3 directly or else you can use secant a trigonometric ratio formula what is secant a secant a is hypotenuse divided by adjacent side that is 5 by 3 next trigonometric ratio is cot a cot a is a reciprocal of tan a tan a already given in the question cot a is what reciprocal of 4 by 3 is what that is 3 by 4 or else you can use the definition of cot a cot a is what cot a is adjacent side by opposite side adjacent side is 3 opposite side is 4 3 by 4 i hope you understand this class in case if you like this video please drop a like and share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now if you want this handwritten notes of this trigonometry chapter we have our own android app br max class in that app you can find this chapter all teaching videos along with handwritten notes with a very nominal price thanks for watching this video take care bye bye